on politics on KXA and Austin News. Well, our Texas Tribune partners this evening having a watch party in downtown Austin. And Elise Hugh has been monitoring a lot of things, social media, the balance of power. What do you have for us, Elise? Yeah, we are still downtown where the party is kind of dying off because it's been a horrible night for a lot of Democrats, especially here uh, in areas like Central Texas, South Central Texas, Hayes, Caldwell, and Blanco counties, where Patrick Rose, a longtime rep, is likely to lose tonight. Deanna Maldonado up in Williamson County, she was also in a really tight race there. She has already conceded. Texas Democrats say they have lost anywhere between 18 to as many as 25 seats in the Texas House. It can be accurately described as a Republican route tonight. And so obviously, he being here in Central Texas, a lot of folks uh, in the audience were pretty dismayed to see these results. Uh, but there could be, could be some changes, some tight races that are on the bubble that could change for some Central Texas reps, namely Belinda Bolton. She's still waiting on results. She represents the Southwest Travis County down there. And Donna Howard, likely safe. Also, Mark Strama up in North Austin and Pflugerville will be reelected or has been reelected tonight. What does all of this mean going forward? Well, the House Budget Chairman, the House Appropriations Chairman Jim Pitts did stop by the party tonight to talk to us a little bit about the possibility of a speaker's race. There's been some talk of a speaker's race or a challenge to the more moderate Republican speaker if a ton of Republicans were elected as they were. So let's hear what Jim Pitts had to say. And it's real easy to get, say, oh, they encourage you to go ahead and run for speaker. But at the end of the day, that 76 votes is a very hard mountain to climb. And so obviously some tough decisions ahead, not only politically, but policy-wise, as the legislature faces a massive anywhere between $18 billion to $25 billion budget shortfall. We'll be watching for that and continue to look online, kxan.com and on politics.com for election results throughout the evening. For now, we are live in downtown Austin. Elise Hugh with the Texas Tribune for KXAN Austin News.